So I was going to replace the hinges on this door, but the holes don't line up. Uh, I'm sure I want to drill new holes. Um, so it's the same size hinge, but the existing holes don't line up with the holes in this hinge. So I either got to I need to replace the ones on the other door anyway. They're not they're not satin nickel. I got to find the brand for this because obviously the placement of those holes is not standard across brands. So those hinges I tried before were a brand called Everbuilt. And I marked the location of the hinges. Uh, and I went to the hardware store, I got some Ace hinges. And they seem to be fit pretty close when I was looking at the template, but they don't match. There you can see that's uh, some of the two of the screws are matched, but two don't. This one here is not. So I need to match this brand exactly. I need to find out what the brand is. Um, this is not going to work. Since I can't find a hinge plate where the holes are in the same location as this, this hinge, I'm just going to clean up these hinges, get the rust off there in the paint, and be done with it. So now I'm masking the edge of this. And this is uh, kind of a difficult area to mask because you're getting right on the edge. So what I do is I hook the bottom of this. And then I get the tape connected on the bottom. And I run my finger along here and guide it right there. There we go. And if there's any overlay on the, what I want to paint, I just cut it with a single edge razor blade. This door was installed 11 years ago. I never got around to painting the inside door jam. But I've got it all masked here now. So I'm going to paint it today. It took an hour to mask, mask the inside of this door and also the hinges on the left. It'll probably take me about 10 minutes to paint this thing. So now I've got everything masked. I masked the uh, weather trim, weather stripping, the hinges, the uh, left side of that door jam, other hinge, that hinge up there. And then the mask, masking the weather trim there. 